Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. We are not in the normal setting today because this is going to be a productive chat. So I'm going to today talk about my housing situation and I'm gonna do it while improving my house. So we are currently in the master bathroom of my home and this is a cabinet that was my great grandpa's when he lived here. Um, it was in this bathroom and it was completely full of stuff. Um, you will see all of the stuff currently there. Um, this is my stuff in the cabinets now, but it was completely full of his stuff. I have tried organizing this cabinet so many times and um, I hate it. Now that I am debt free, I'm going to slowly start making improvements to the house. My goal is to make a few improvements that are actually to the house itself but mainly the improvements will be um, stuff that I can take with me um, if I ever move. So replacing this and going along the line of gray themes, I got this from Big Lots for $40 or $50 if you include tax and everything else. Um, so I got this for $50. Um, this is the Stratford brand if you're looking for a brand. Um, and it is amazing. These are larger cube sizes than the standard cube system, but I love the cube system. So don't worry, we are gonna talk about my house. Go ahead and fast forward if you're not interested in this. But while I talk about the house, I'm gonna be organizing everything from that cabinet in here, getting rid of what I don't need, what I don't want. I am trying to like just lessen my amount of stuff. There will be uh, cubes uh, within these cabinets but for within these cubes right now the fabric ones um, but they didn't have any of the colors that I liked and I'm ordering them online so until I get those this is just gonna work so let's go ahead and discuss my housing um, my mortgage rent why I why I had both um, who owns this house and what my plan is so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I will see you sitting down on the ground while I organize. Hi guys, so here is the background of where we're sitting. I've got all my stuff over here. I've got the cabinet over here. So let's get into the discussion of this house. So um, first let's start off, it is a mobile home. It's three bed, two baths, and it was my great grandpa's home. Um, and when he passed away, um, my parents got the house. Um, and when my parents got the house, they decided um, that it would be a good home for me for college. So I took out a $10,000 loan to move the house to the town that I was in college, which is where it is now. So when you guys see my budget, or when you see my past budgets, um, for those that were asking about the rent and mortgage columns, the rent is the lot rent for the property that the house is sitting on. And the mortgage is the payment that I'm making every month for the $10,000 loan that I took out. Now, the house is in my parents' name. Um, so while I had complete freedom to do whatever I wanted with this house, painting cabinets, putting holes in walls, changing out everything that I wanted. Um, the house was in my parents' name. They, just like a, um, a homeowner would do, made the bigger repairs, like when the air conditioner was broken, they paid to fix it. Um, and um, any other major stuff for the house itself, they fixed. Um, the difference between renting from them from, compared to everyone else is that I have freedom to make repairs to this house um, that I want such as again painting the cabinets and making big changes that I couldn't normally do um, if I was renting from someone else. Um, that being said I also have to pay for things like uh, and do work like changing out the light bulbs, um, carpet stretching, stuff like that. Little things um, are still my responsibility, but it's a better trade-off in the end for me. Um, so, um, progression of what's happened. After I graduated college, I was going to move. 
Um, however, I did not. I have been out of college for three years now, um, as of May, three years, and I am still living in this house um, because I got a job here after college. Um, so I stayed in the house. Um, I originally had a roommate. Um, I had a roommate for three years, I believe, or four years. I had two separate roommates, but uh, they lived here to a total of three, maybe four years. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and they basically covered, you can see it in my budget, uh, the lot rent plus some, and it kind of covered the insurance that I was paying on the house, um, which again, very fair trade-off to me. Um, so I'm trying to think of how to explain this. When my roommates moved out, I took over everything, obviously, which is fine. Um, and then I graduated. They moved out after I graduated, but she moved out. I was paying for everything and I was still living in the house. Um, I worked very hard to pay off all my debt. If you watch my budget videos, all my debts paid off. Um, but I still had the $10,000 loan. So what originally was supposed to happen is when I moved out after I graduated, that my parents would take over the loan, sell the house, and pay off that loan and be done. And I would be free to move just like I would if I was renting. That's obviously not what happened. Um, and my parents came to me and said since I had worked so hard to pay off my student loans, it wasn't really fair because I was still in debt. Um, so, what, which is the reason I didn't pay off the loan is because I didn't know when I was moving. So what my parents did is they paid off the loan for me. Um, so I did not pay off that loan, they did. Um, which I am so appreciative of. Um, and so I was, am 100 completely, 100% debt free. Um, that is no longer a debt that I have. It does not or will not show up on my credit score or anything else. There's no debt. However, I am still going to make that mortgage payment every single month. Oh, and only instead of making the payment to the bank, I'm going to be making it to my dad. So how that works out is, um, you will notice that my mortgage was moved up into my rent, so I will make two separate rent payments, one for the lot um, to the people that I'm renting the property from, and a second payment to my parents um, for this lot. The payment's not going up, it's the exact same amount um, that I will make to my parents. The only difference is that I am not in debt to it. So what that means is there is no interest at all and when I move out, it's just like when you're renting, I will just completely stop. So when I move out of this house, I'm not going to be making the lot rent anymore and I won't be making the payment to my parents. It's just like when I'm renting, just like when you rent, you make a payment for your rent, except I have two payments, uh, two separate payments, and I won't be making either one of them when I move out. Um, it is still less for me to live in this house than it would be to live in a studio apartment in this area. Um, this is a three bed, two bath house, and it is still less money to live here than it is to live in a studio apartment in this area. So I am very lucky that this is how it worked out. I'm very thankful. So I know that a few people ask, they're like, why do you have a mortgage payment and a rent? That is why um, it's a confusing situation, I guess, if you don't understand it. And I'm really hoping I explained it well enough for you guys. Um, I don't wanna go any more into it, um, but uh, it's something that I understand can be confusing, but since I was involved in it, it really wasn't complicated. Um, just know that I have two separate rent payments, one to my parents and one to the people that I rent the property from. Um, and I basically am paying my parents for the house, uh, which is very inexpensive, and um, I'm paying um, the other people for the lot that the house is sitting on, and that's pretty much it. When I move out, I'm done. There's no more payments. Um, there's no interest. It's It just works out really well. Um, now, back to the cabinets. I've made no progress on this since I started talking. I have so many candles. so. 
Um, I'm hoping that kind of clears up the questions on the house. Um, I know that that was confusing. I, like I said, I just really hope I explained it well enough. Um, I know that it can be confusing. Um, so from now on in my budgets, you guys will still see two payments. You will see um, it's one line, but two separate payments. Um, and I actually still have to pay my parents for the month of May. Um, May is when it started, or not May, June. June is when my first payment is. And I will make it the same day that I make the payment for um, all of my other stuff. So I'm gonna finish this cabinet figure out how I want all this stuff, and I will show you guys the progress at the end. Thank you guys for watching. I know that this was a different kind of video, um, and I, like I said, I really hope I explained it okay. It's very unconfusing to me, um, but I know people outside of the situation may still be confused, so I hope I explained it. Um, if you have questions, um, I really don't want to go any more into this because it involves other people. This is not just my finances. This is bringing in the finances of my parents and the people that I'm renting the property from. So, um, and my grandparents are involved in this as well because it was my great grandpa's house. So, um, I really am not going to answer a bunch more questions about this. If you have questions, you can leave them below. And if I feel like they're appropriate uh, to the situation, then I will answer them. Um, but like I said, I just, I am very open about my finances to you guys, but I want to respect everyone else that isn't sharing their finances and situation in life. And so um, that's partially why I didn't bring up this conversation, um, but I feel like it was something that really needed to be brought up um, now that the mortgage is gone, um, kind of. So um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that helps. And uh, thank you for all of those that have been watching these videos. It has been amazing. Um, there are lots of videos coming up now that I am debt free. Um, I have lots of organization. Um, there will be, like I said, just like this cabinet, there's gonna be small improvements to this house. There is going to be organization. I am having, I have four food videos planned. Um, I, to give you an idea, it is how to go grocery shopping. And I know I've waited so long for that video and promised it. And it is because everything kind of changed with the pandemic that went around. And so I didn't want to post a grocery video because it didn't really apply to the grocery situation that was going on at the time. Like you could use some of the tips, but there were certain things you just you couldn't do. Um, so now that everything is starting, starting, it's not back to normal, but it's starting to get a little better, um, that video will be put up soon. I have videos on how I meal prep. I have videos, meal ideas, and I'm also planning to do a freezer clean out and organization and then restock or using how do you, I'm using my freezer meals to prep meals that are in the freezer to last an entire month. So those videos are all coming. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Bye. Okay, so here you guys go. This is the finished uh, cube. As you can see, I have a cord right here and I don't have a plug-in over here, so this actually goes around into my uh, bedroom to plug into the wall over here. But I have a light. I have a diffuser. This is all my like smelly goods, so essential oils, candles. This is my paper products, so my toilet paper and tissues. This is like cleaning supplies and when I DIY stuff, and this is my travel bag. So this whole sp space is empty, and I'm hoping to be able to move those over here eventually when I get uh, the cube storage. So there you guys go. That's what we ended up with at the end of this talk. Oh.